Mwah. Great to see you. Mwah. I'm so happy to be here. Welcome. Mwah. It's great to have you, and uh, hopefully we can explain a bit more about how we make gin, yep. how we grow the botanicals, and how the bees fit into the gin that we make. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. This, this is, is where the magic happens. Let's yeah. go find out. Yeah. Show me. Where do we this go? This way. So, Joe, hopefully you remember Johnny. Um, ah. Johnny Easter. Hi, Hello, we met at Chelsea and Festival. Correct, yes, we did, yeah. You did. So Johnny is our environmental and sustainability manager, but he's also our beekeeper, most importantly. And hopefully uh, he's going to talk you through uh, what we're doing on the farm with bees, pollinators, and how we're trying to save the world all at the same time. You got a suit for me? I have indeed, yeah. We'll get you suited and booted and have a closer look at the hives. <laughs> Just take me through the whole process. Each of these will have one queen in? Uh, correct. Each of these hives will have a single queen. Okay. Um, and then within that colony, she'll have workers uh, and drones. This bright purple pollen is actually coming from a plant called Phacelia, uh, which is one of the, uh, the best pollen and nectar, really, rich plants that you can, you can grow. Uh, we've got some growing in the botanical garden, so I can show you that later. Should we see what's yeah. going on then? Okay. Whoa! They're making quite a row now. <laughs> so would you like to hold the frame of bees? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, God. If you just hold the from that side and that side. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. It's heavy. Wow. So you can see here, this is a really nice example of what's going on. The honey is actually, honey and wax is used as a thermal insulator. So this this is the brood area here. You can see this biscuity capping here. Yeah. And you've got this more shiny sort of waxy capping here. So um, that is the brood, so that is developing young. We yep. might even see a bee being born today, you never know. Um, and, and they've stored this wax, uh, they've stored the, their food around the outside. And remember, the, this is the honey, that is their carbohydrate, and, and there should be pollen as we go further through here, um, which, is their, um, which is their protein. Yep. So when it, when it comes to the gin, yes. how, how does this translate from here to the gin? The cappings are basically cut off and then we spin the uh, frames through centrifugal force. All the honey basically gets thrown to the sides of the honey extractor and then we tap it off at the bottom. It's lovely to be talking to you in the, this space now where we're in the garden. I've learned so much today, it's been a revelation. When I was drinking your gin before, I had no idea what it meant to you. The amount of work that goes into it, there's so many different aspects to it as well. So there's been the honey, so yeah. you've seen the, the bees, um, and then all the plants, the botanicals that go into it as well, and yeah. then the, you know, the pipe work that's here. Yeah. It's just so much people don't appreciate. I know, and I, I think it, it doesn't just happen overnight. And when people just see a flavor, they probably assume that it's just sort of flavorings that have been thrown into the bottle. Um, it's taken years to get to where we are you know we're nowhere near done with what the aspiration for the brand is to get to so there is a huge amount of effort behind every bottle but that's really what we're about as a brand yeah it's just a labor of love more than anything that and is also, the best way of yeah it. it really yeah. that's what comes across thank you very much <laughs> <laughs>